we have a new feature question and this one is in express entry. Do I need to meet all the job requirements in the NOC? Now we know come November, things are going to roll over to the tier, the tier system. And on our website, we've produced a lot of content on that. But right now people are getting drawn. They're receiving invitations to apply. They're submitting their EAPRs. So we are dealing with the world today. And this feature question submitted by Mike is a great one because it gives me an opportunity to really demonstrate to you guys uh, a question that I see a lot. Let me just flip over here and I will show you what I mean. So when you go to the National Occupational Classification, the 2016 version, that's what we're rolling with right now. You can see version 1.3 that will roll over to 2011 here in a little bit, but we're going to just pick a title. So I'm going to go with one that, well, I had a consult with yesterday and I talked with an employer about getting a labor market impact assessment for this position, but we're going to go with marketing managers. And so the question here that was that was given talks about the job requirements. Well, what are the job requirements? This is different than the duties. Lots of people get hung up on the duties, but very few people are talking about the requirements themselves. So if we scroll down here, you can see marketing managers fit within this general heading 0124 advertising, marketing and public relations managers. So we know for the purposes of express entry, you have to demonstrate that you've performed all the activities in the lead statement. That's right here. And that you need to, you need to have performed um, a substantial number of the main duties. Now I pulled this one up because there is actually advertising managers. There's marketing managers. There's public relations managers and there's e-business managers. Do you need to provide um, or demonstrate that you've performed all of the duties for each of these positions? No, you are just going to choose one of them. Okay. And you can see plan, direct, and evaluate the activities of firms and departments that develop and implement advertising campaigns to promote the sales of products and services. There's one duty. So you better be hitting on that duty in your job description. Same thing for marketing managers, same thing for public relations managers and e-business managers. So each of them are all, they all fit within the NOC, but they're a little bit different. But here is where the question lies. Look at this, employment requirements. There is a ton of misconception out there that you have to be able to demonstrate that you've performed or you meet these employment requirements in order to claim the work experience for express entry. Well, there is a double-edged sword to this because for the purposes of federal skilled worker applications, sometimes when we're comparing it to those who are applying under the Canadian experience class, there's a little bit of confusion. And that confusion usually re relates to work permits that are supported by labor market impact assessments. So I'm not going to get into a lot of um, detail with that, but what I want to point out here is that for the purposes of work experience and uh, when you're claiming it through express entry, these employment requirements do not apply. They don't apply. So whether or not you hold a university degree or you have, um, you know, related experience um, on website content or whatever it might be for each of these individual uh, occupations, for the purposes of express entry, you do not need to demonstrate this. But there is a difference here. If you're in Canada, or you are someone who is applying for a work permit to come work for a company as a marketing manager, then in those cases, absolutely, you do need to meet these requirements. Now, there's one other distinction I want to point out. You will see that, let's say we go with a marketing manager here, and we can see that to work as a marketing manager in Canada, the job, the knock job description here and the employment requirements say that a university degree or college diploma in business administration or in a related field with a specialization in sales or marketing and several years of experience as a sales marketing or public relations representative or in a related occupation. And here's the part I want to highlight are required. Whenever it says are required, it's mandatory. So if you do not have a university degree or a degree in a related field um, or a college uh, diploma in business admin, and several years, and I always interpret several years to mean at least three. One is, well, it's one year. Two is a couple of years. Three is several years. And so that's how I interpret it. So when you're trying to determine whether or not you meet the requirements to get a work permit and a labor market impact assessment, you must meet it. But you can see if you are an e-business manager, the difference is 
yes, university, blah, 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 experience, whatever, are usually required. And when it has that magical world, word called usual, instead of are, this is optional, this is mandatory, okay? So you can see the difference between the two. But back to the original question. The employment requirements I'm showing right here are only required when you are applying for an LMIA-based work permit or a work permit maybe under the International Mobility Program where IRCC can assess whether or not you meet those requirements and they very carefully look at the National Occupational Classification System to determine if you meet these requirements. But for the purposes of express entry, no. If you worked as a marketing manager in India or any other country in the world and you didn't have a degree, you just had lots of experience, all that express entry is focused on is whether or not as the marketing manager, you established distribution networks for products and services, you initiated market research and analyzed your findings, you assisted in product development, and you directed and evaluated the marketing strategies of the establishment. So a substantial number of these duties. Now it's under one heading, but arguably you've got one, you've got two, you've got three, you've got four. So what would I be expecting? probably at least three out of four here. But when it comes to express entry, right here, employment requirements, so many people are confused. And one question, one challenging issue I see lots of people getting confused with is they say, well, I started working in that occupation while I was completing my master's in, you know, in marketing or my bachelor's of business administration. And, um, uh, you know, and so they're probably not going to let me claim that because I hadn't finished my degree yet. No, 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 no. Remember what the law states. And it is a substantial number of the main duties. And it specifically excludes the employment requirements. So there you go, guys. So this and many, many more things I cover all the time in, and let's see here if I can just flip over here. I cover it in here in my Express Entry Masterclass. There's one starting September 19th to the 22nd. There's a, a link in the description below. So go check that out. We cover this in detail. But that, you guys, is the headline for today.